Um, I wanted to just start by noting that our states uh, share uh, a deep uh, tradition and history of manufacturing. And I have always believed that when we're expending taxpayer dollars, we ought to be supporting American workers, American products, and American ingenuity and research and development. And obviously, the Department of Transportation plays an enormous role in furthering uh, those opportunities. I know that my colleagues and I on the Commerce, Science, and Transportation Committee are so eager to work on infrastructure and really believe that we will seize the opportunity to build modern, sustainable infrastructure while supporting American workers. So let me begin with a couple of brief yes or no questions. Will you commit to including Buy America requirements in any Biden administration infrastructure proposal to ensure that federal funding supports products that are made in America? Yes, I strongly support you, uh, or I join you in strongly supporting Buy America. As Transportation Secretary, you will be charged with enforcing the existing Buy America rules and laws. Back in 1978, Congress passed legislation requiring all manufactured products to be subject to Buy America rules. Since 1978, the Department of Transportation has provided blanket waivers for the purchase of manufactured products made outside of the United States. I'm wondering if you will commit to removing this waiver or restricting it in order to require certain frequently purchased products be made in America. For example, traffic lights, highway signs, and traffic cones, to name just a few. So uh, uh, the goal is to make sure as much as possible of this is made in America. And if confirmed, uh, I do commit to looking at what we can do to uh, adjust or change or, or perhaps uh, uh, rescind that, uh, that provision. Well, thank you very much. Uh, that concludes my questions, but I am very much looking forward to working you, with you during your uh, tenure as Secretary of Transportation. Likewise. Thank you.